Hey guys, what is up? Dave here coming back to you with yet another video as part of the Auto Legends Deep Dives series. So there's really only one section of this game left to make a video or two on, and that is the hangers over here, as you'll see. And I'm kind of pairing this up really well with potentially an update coming soon to the game. So anyway, the hangers is the spot we haven't looked at yet. My account was reset due to a tournament that we played. There is a restream watchable of that tournament. Um, I'm so mad that I missed the third place race for spectator mode. <laughs> I am so mad about it. But uh, anyway, let's go to the hangers and look around. So the hangers is based on a real place, just like Sixth Street Bridge. Sixth, sixth, sixth street. Bridge. I can't say it, man. Can't. But anyway, I'm gonna random park. Close the chat for now. And as you can see, it's pretty cool. You can walk around this huge area. You can look around this huge area. It's got a major Need for Speed Pro Street feel to it, with like the blimps, the giant like race sign things to the side, the tents. And these really cool hangers. These hangers are, this is a real place. This is where they keep blimps, um, if I was told correctly, or at least they used to. It is a real place. There's an airstrip here and everything. But as you can see, as you walk through the cars, it's really kind of cool how they're laid out, I think. But overall, yeah, you can see all your buddies' cars, stuff like that. It's a lot of fun and it's a cool area to kind of just look around at other people's cars because it's a great contrast. This is what your car looks like during the brightest time of day versus as long if you're over at the meetup on 6th Street, you see it at night. So I really like this element. I really like how they contrast so well. I mean, this Integra looks awesome. It was this 3000 GT, the little Civic, you know, there's just so much, but real quick, you know, we've kind of already gone through everything kind of here to just kind of show off, you know, these visuals. We all know I like to do a little bit of free cam around and show you guys around and a little bit of the background of things that you don't otherwise see. So give me one second. I'm going to set up the free cam. Now, how cool is that? So, as you can see, you can actually see where the racetrack kind of should be. Um, even though you really can't see that from down here. So, if you're down here, you don't really know that that's the racetrack right over there. But as you can see, the racetrack is right over here. Um, you know, general art liberties and, you know, optimizations. That's, it's not very well fledged out which is a good thing because then your devices and stuff would lag really hard. I think it would be pretty cool if there were some more cars, some like AI cars that are just kind of parked over in this area. Not necessarily that you can race, but maybe it's like once they add a story mode of some kind or a single player mode of some kind, you know, the boss's car is like right over here or something like that. And you can kind of try to race it or something like that. But there's a whole bunch of cool stuff around here. I mean, there's all these houses. There's all these trees. It's a really big area. There's these little bunkers over here. Like, it's all pretty realistic for the real place. You come here. You know, you can actually go inside. And this is stuff you never see. Like, how cool would it be if they had a lineup of the cars in here? You know, maybe it's raining or something. Have a car show in here with the natural lighting shine through. That would be so cool. You know, here's the uh, the tower. You know, you can see down to where the cars are. That's pretty sick. There's some blimps around that are flying around. That's also pretty cool. Right over there, there's that blimp flying. But overall, it's it's a neat area. And actually, I don't know if this one is fleshed out on the inside. I don't think it is. It's not. Okay. But yeah, no, it's overall. I love how they are taking the art direction with this. It's so much fun. It's so nice. And overall, I think it's going to be such a great game once it comes out and is, you know, ready for full release. 
beta is around the corner. If you guys saw the uh, tutorial, or not the tutorial, the launch trailer, uh, beta is around the corner. You can go to the website right now. I know some people are going to say, I haven't even gotten a code for alpha yet. And you're saying there's beta? Well, I'm sorry, but that's kind of how development works. They only have so many keys from the Epic Game Store, and they wanted to hold on to the rest of them for when the next update to alpha drops. That's when they're going to push out a bunch of keys because there's going to be so many changes to the next uh, alpha update build. And I wish I could give you guys hints or say what's in it and stuff like that, but I really can't, unfortunately. But, you know, there's the Speed Lab tuning tower over here. But yeah, it it's a really cool area. I love the hangars. I think this is such a cool idea. I wish it was more of a free walking experience. Just block off where like players can or can't go. Because then you could like walk around and see these cars from the different angles. Just, you know, have your standard Nintendo 64 invisible wall right here that you can't walk into there. I wouldn't be mad about that in the slightest. But, you know, Maybe that's an idea for another day or another location or something like that later on down the road in the game. But right now, this is Auto Legends. This is the hangers. The hangers are awesome. There is the leaderboard too. I always forget about the leaderboard. Let me disable free cam real quick. You can see a few, a few people have been racing. Euro Tim is currently top of the leaderboard for about the next two hours. Uh, a couple other things too. I don't know if I've ever actually shown these off. Oops. That's not what I wanted. Not what I wanted. I wanted to show off the player profile. I think I showed this off in like episode one, but in case this is your first video, you know, you get your car here, achievements are here, all your info is here, your username. Pretty cool, nifty little thing. But other than that, that's the hangers. Um, that's realistically all I wanted to show off with the hangers was just walking around, showing how the cars are parked. Um, explaining kind of the area, things of that nature. Should have brought it up on Google Maps. I wonder if I can. Hold on. So real quick, here's the actual hangars in Tustin, California. You can only get out up to about right here to actually see them. But there's the one hangar, there's the other hangar. I kind of wonder what angle the racetrack is at. Oops, oops. Not what I wanted. Um, how do I get out of street view? There we go. Go this view. Okay, California is not that green. Thank you. Um, let me get into Auto Legends. I need to do the random parking. Hold on. All right, I know this is janky, but let's kind of figure out where everything is in Auto Legends versus the actual area. So there's this hangar and this hangar. We go here. Oh, this hangar's gone. I think they took some art liberties, which is okay. There's never a problem with that. Um, hangar and hangar. Yeah, they took a little bit of art liberties. I don't think we can actually see it. From an angle that is similar, if anything, it's probably right here. So this would be where the racetrack is and the parking and all that. This is where the racetrack is, is over here with this one right here back when it was built. Um, I think I saw something that it burned down. Not sure though. And then there's the other one over here. So overall, it is a real place, just like we've shown in the past with Sixth Street Bridge. It's a real place. So I hope you guys are excited for Auto Legends. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out.